It's time for the... Hang on... Ooh. Kids feature! All right, so I have an Xbox box, and I am really excited to open it and show you guys what's inside. So let's do this. Down there, down there, and wait a second. My box is empty! So I have something to tell you guys. I have actually already opened this box. I've taken the Xbox out. I'm enjoying it already. And I want to tell you, an empty box doesn't always have to be bad news. If the box has already been opened, it probably, mean, probably means you're already enjoying the thing that was in the box. Or if it's a really big box, you're already enjoying the box itself. And that's what I really want to talk about today, the word empty. Since today is Easter Sunday, I really want to focus on the empty tomb. The tomb where Jesus was died and buried in. But he didn't stay dead. In fact, he rose again on the third day and he left the tomb and the tomb was empty. So really, something being empty is the best news that you or I or anyone else could ever get. The Bible is 100% true. And in 1 Corinthians 15, it says this. I passed on to you what was most important and what also has been passed on to me. Christ died for our sins, just as the scriptures say. He was buried and he was raised from the dead on the third day, just as the scriptures say. When Jesus was raised on the third day, raised, raised from the dead, he left the tomb. The tomb was empty. So the next time you guys see an empty box or an empty milk jug or anything empty, I want you to try to think about the empty tomb and how sometimes when something's empty, it can be really good news. Because when the tomb was empty, it was the best news anyone ever got.